I'm trying to show off Little Miss Marvel, but she is just wanting to go, go, go. Let's see, can I get the other side of her face? There she is. She's a beautiful little calico, little tortoise shell mix. You're Mrs. Kaylee. And welcome to Color All the Things. And this is my Desert Island, 10 books I would take to a Desert Island video. So I will be right back with my books. Okay, back. Um, I got tagged by the lovely Anne from uh, A Colorful Life and she tagged me to do my 10 coloring books that I would take with me to a desert island. Um, and I was talking to May and she was like, so it's just all gonna be Zelda Snova, right? Which was very tempting, I'll be honest. Um, but I did pare it down a bit. Um, there are multiples because that's just kind of how I roll. Um, excuse the wet hair, I just got out of the shower. I've been cleaning house all morning, taking care of the cat, getting ready for an exterminator to come because I have sugar ants. So, and cleaning has not like gotten rid of them. So I'm getting an exterminator. So my first book um, is by the wonderful Jen Katz. Um, it's the book three in the Infinite Coloring Book series, Uber Salasatan Mondish, Mondishinkatsen. I'm gonna, I butchered it, I know I did. Um, and this is the, the recent release. It is currently uh, out of stock in her Etsy store. It is single-sided. Uh, and I'm super excited to work in this because I got more Copics and I see all the beautiful work she does with Copics in this, so I'm super excited. Um, and as no surprise, um, Kirby Roseanne's Myth Morph. <laughs> two. <laughs> um, grabbing two. Have to grab two. Can't just do one. Um, so I would be grabbing two. Uh, no surprise there, I am sure. Uh, the other one is actually Forest Girls by April. April? April? I can't say it right. Um, love this book. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous book. And um, really, I could just sit and look at the illustrations all day long. Um, coloring in them, obviously. I mean, how do you not want to color that? It's just adorable. So, sorry, if I keep looking the other way, it's because I'm looking at my computer and not the camera. So, I'm not used to this face-to-face -face stuff. Uh, again, another no surprise because I actually own three of these. <laughs> I didn't look at this. <laughs> you know, uh, Joanna Basford's Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. Cannot say enough good things about this book. I love it. It's huge. It's thick. It's a thick book. It would leave you with so much time to do stuff. And if you're on a desert island, and this is my thought, if you're on a desert island, like you want something that's going to take you a while. You want something that's going to be um, involved and you're going to want something that's going to be, oh, I've got kids incoming. One second. Okay, sorry about that. Kids, they just show up out of nowhere. But I mean, like, look at that. Go that way. I'm opposite. It's really throwing me off. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of good, a lot of good pictures in this and a lot of stuff that can take you a while. And I love, I love that. Um, the next one that might be a little surprising, but... Maybe not. I, I am going to get another one of these. I, I can't, I can't not do that. Um, Serene by Nick Filbert. I cannot stress how much I love this book. Oh, hair kitty. Uh, so, you know, how do you not, how do you not take something? Where am I going? There I am. like gorgeous pictures that's that's gonna take forever I love it 
So I, I adore that book. And I dropped something. No, 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 no. She's trying to play with the cords under there. And then last, but certainly not least, and probably the least surprising, um, three of my four, as I'm just known as. I had, to, I had to drop one because I wanted Forest Girl in there. So, but Zom just never. I cannot. Thomas Love Tomek, gorgeous book. I'm saddened by Villain Sand, but that will not stop me from getting something as gorgeous as this. I mean, just look at that. This could take forever. So, those are my 10 coloring books that I would take with me on a desert island if I was stranded. And then if I'm lucky, maybe I'll get stranded with May and we can like switch off because I like May's choices too. Um, so I'm not really going to tag anybody, but if you feel like listing in the comments down below the 10 books that you would most likely take on a desert island, I think that would be wonderful. And if you do YouTube, feel free to make a video. Um, or whatever. So I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.